Hey guys, I just thought I would make a little video about the political spectrum of Weimar Germany because it's a topic which some people can find a little confusing. But you've sort of got to get used to being able to talk about the left, the political left and the political right and understand which was which and what each side sort of believed and what their views were, what their ideology was. So taking it from its very simplest point, if we look here in the middle, you've got the, the line left and right. So and here above the line, you've got the names of political parties in the Reichstag. OK, so on the left near the center, you've got the SPD. And further left, into the far left, you've got the KPD and the USPD, okay? On the right-hand side, you've got the German People's Party, the DDP, and then the DMVP, the German National People's Party. Now, although the left are on the left and the right are on the right, the further left you go, the more radical your views become and more extreme your views go. And the same goes to the right. The further right you go, the more extreme uh, the views are, okay? These parties here, with the box around them were the parties which were the, the parties of Weimar, the pro Weimar parties, which were prepared to work together and work for the interests of the Weimar Republic. OK, so you had the SPD, which was Ebert's party, which was the founding party of, of the of the uh, Weimar Republic. You've got the Centre Party and then you've got the German People's Party. OK, so these parties on the left would be described as liberal, progressive, uh, they believe in social democracy, things like uh, having uh, good benefits for people who are uh, maybe ill or out of work. These people on the right, their views would be more conservative, uh, more nationalistic, but they're still, they're still democratic, you know, but they believe maybe in uh, uh, more traditional values, traditional family values and things like that, okay? But all of these parties are sort of on the, in the center ground. They're all sort of in the political center ground, okay? When we go to the far left, you've got the KPD, the Communist Party of Germany, okay, which evolves out of the USPD, which is basically the Spartacists. These guys are radicals. Uh, they are anti-Weimar. They don't believe in constitutional democracy. They believe in things like workers' Soviets and, and stuff like that. And they're revolutionary. They want to overthrow the old order. So they want to overthrow all the old establishment. I think we talked about the Wilhelmine establishment. So they want to overthrow all of that and replace it with a workers' republic. If we go to the right, groups like the DMVP on the extreme right are ultra-nationalists. So uh, even to the point of being racist, they are anti-democratic. They would be prepared to see uh, a dictatorship, for example, or a return of a, of a Kaiser. They are anti-Weimar, totally anti the Weimar Republic uh, and against its liberal policies. And I suppose in a sense they're revolutionary. Uh, they may be prepared to overthrow the Weimar Republic. Okay. Now, outside of the political parties, you've also got other groups within society who would be considered to be left and right. So on the left, in this sort of left centre ground, you would have trade unions which represent the rights of workers. They would be considered to be on the political left. But if you go further left, you've got the Red Fighting League or Red Fighting Front, as it's called, or sometimes called, or Red Front Fighters, uh, who were a paramilitary organization closely linked with the Communist Party of Germany, uh, who were on the far right, or sorry, the far left. If we look at the right hand side, you've got the army, the Reichswehr, uh, which is very conservative, very nationalistic. So its views are on the right. Now, some would be on this side of the line with the DDP in the army. Some in the army would be tending towards this side with the DMVP. They would be pushing more for the right. So it really basically depends on, on individual figures within the army. But the army itself is very much on the right. The Free Corps, uh, who we see during the Kaputsch, uh, the Spartacist Revolt, uh, are very much ultra-nationalist, anti-democratic, anti-Weimar, revolutionary. And these guys would be a precursor to the Nazis, okay? So, yeah, they're very, very right-wing. Okay, so that is the basics of uh, the Weimar political, uh, political spectrum. And it would be a good idea to make sure you get your head around this because as we get into the course, we'll be talking about left and right and ultra-left and revolutionaries and progressives and nationalists and... And these are good terms to get your head around. Okay, that'll do. Thank you for watching.